Hello, I just want to apologize for the shakiness and the quality of the last video. Um, when I was trying to explain, I did not know that the quality was so bad. So, I want to show you the dress up close and personal and explain to you how I did everything. <clears throat> so, this is the front of the dress. And the teardrop, um, when you put the top bodice together, um, you want to pin the teardrop where you want. And then you want to pin the sides up on the shoulder here. And then pin the neck all the way across here. And then pin your teardrop. The bottom part, you want to make your two pleats. And the way I did the pleats was I turned it inside, I pinned it where I wanted, and I turned it inside out, and I just sewed about an inch into the pleat so that they would be permanent on this side and I didn't need the pins anymore so that's how I did that and then at the base of the teardrop I also sewed I don't know if you can see that but I just sewed like a little like a centimeter so that the teardrop would stay in order to connect the shoulder so the pin goes here then your shoulder pin goes here and your neck pin goes here and then you basically just fold these in it's not really it's not really a ruffle gather it's just folded in so to accentuate this this teardrop shape right here and just however the rest fits folded inward that's how that goes and then i sewed that across and placed that place the back shoulder I sewed that across sewed it to that so also for the gathers in the front so that you can see it a lot better for the gathers in the front um, I pleated these as well and just pinned them between this this area right here and uh, I made sure that this top bodice part was flat against the pleated area and I sewed there. I apologize for the quality before, but anyway, now you have it now.